Hello everyone, Dr. B here. I want to welcome you again to eTech 589. I hope you're excited about this semester. I can tell you I'm excited about being with you and a part of your learning journey. This week we're going to get started with Module 1. Before we do, I just want to make sure that you've looked at all of the introduction to the course content as that will help you be prepared and ready to go and be successful this semester. So we'll get started with Module 1. And this week you will be introducing yourself to your peers and to me. And you'll also be familiar after this week with the course structure and the way every module will be set up. And it will start with the overview. So as we look at this week, the overview tells us that you'll be introducing yourself to each other and you'll be further introduced to the course. And as you do so, you'll be introducing yourself to your peers and to me. You'll be considering your purpose, your why. What is it that gets you excited, gets you out of bed every morning? And then uh, in addition to the introduction to the course, make sure you've looked at the syllabus and you've looked at the uh, course schedule and you're familiar in general with what the expectations are and that you ask any questions that you may have. And this week our learning objectives are basically learning more about not only yourself but also your classmates and really discovering your purpose and thinking about who you are and why it is that you want to do what, what you do. And then understanding more about what we are trying to do in the course and the purpose and the content and even some of the technologies that we'll be using as part of this course. And I will tell you that the course will be set up so that we're pacing ourselves through each week together. So I'm not going to open all the modules at once. I'll probably open one module at a time, and as the course goes along, I may consider opening uh, two modules at a time. But in order for you to have the rich discussions that, that will keep everyone focused and moving together, uh, we need to keep everyone on the same page. And uh, I know prior students have, have commented that the discussions were great learning opportunities as they learn more about their peers and were able to share more about what they were learning each week. So uh, if you have any questions that you believe will benefit other classmates, you can post those in this discussion forum. But if you have any personal questions or more specific questions, you can uh, send those directly to me. And then if I believe it's something that will benefit everyone, I can also make sure that information gets shared. But each week uh, there will be content in this 1.1 lecture uh, or for each module it'll be 2.1, 3.1 and following. But uh, my goal is to not ramble on and on about the content. I'm trying to facilitate learning opportunities for you. So I'm challenging you to become a more independent scholar and uh, provide content that will get you looking at some of the topics we're going to explore and have you finding articles and have you finding resources that are out there. So I will basically say a few things about the content. In some weeks I may have a TED talk or a video that supports the content, but um, mostly I'm going to use these as an opportunity just to walk you through the module to make sure you understand what the assignment is that week and uh, maybe point out some things to consider in the discussion pose. Uh, so th that will be here in the lecture section. And then the reading materials, there's no textbook, but uh, there will be different articles, blogs, websites that will be provided. There will be links for you to go read that content. But I want to challenge you to go find content, for you to go find current articles, blogs, websites, uh, various literature that's been published um, so that you can support your thoughts about a position you may have on content that we're going through. Or it, it may challenge some of the course content and that I have shared myself. But I want you to, con to really be thinking about uh, where you can find articles, literature, and, and critically thinking about everything we're looking at. It's okay if it challenges your thinking. And, but I want you to be able to support why I, you're taking the position you are. So make sure that uh, you... Uh, Continue to look for articles and think more than just reading, you know, what's provided that week. You'll see we've got a brief read this week just to get you thinking about how you engage and introduce yourself in online environments. And then the discussion this week 
it should be one that you can answer without too much thought because it's about you and so the idea is that you're just going to share a little more about yourself you know, you can share about your major your hometown places you like to travel any outside interest if you're involved in you know campus organizations your favorite sport team to pull for hopefully you're you're an all ball ut fan but it's okay if you have you know even other colleges that you pull for but anything about you uh, i want you to answer these questions just so we can have some consistency uh, and knowing about each other and why you're taking this class. And if you've already looked at the course schedule, is there a content, that particular content or assignments that you see that you're most interested in learning about? And then um, just out of curiosity, do you have a favorite movie? Why is that your favorite movie? What's your particular favorite hobby or interest? What is it you do to reload or relax uh, and maybe something unique about you. Do you have a unique talent or, or something that um, you would like to share just so that we can get to know you better? And basically all of the discussion posts, I'm going to expect you to write about 200 words. So you'll have um, a, in future posts some well-developed uh, thoughts. And then the basic expectation is that you will post and then at least respond to two other classmates. But I want this to be a little more of a organic flowing conversation so after you get the hang of it you'll you'll post a well thought out response to whatever the discussion con uh, topic is that week but then make sure you have responded to the minimum of two classmates but don't just see this as a check it off I'm telling you prior students have gained a lot from the discussions so uh, for this one, it's just getting to know each other, so your responses will be more like, oh, wow, see so you have a similar interest as I do. Um, or you like to run, too. Where your, What's your favorite place to run? Oh, you're a mountain biker. What trails do you like to go ride? Um, whatever the case may be, uh, this one's just for fun, so don't to get us in the hang of it. And then uh, some reminders about how you subscribe so that you'll be able to uh, see the, the flow of those conversations. A reminder about being respectful to others and how we conduct ourselves in a discussion forum. So the assignment this week, this has been one of the most interesting assignments uh, for many students and a fun way to get the course started is you really think more about your why, your purpose. I love this quote from Michael Jr. When, when you know your why, your what has more impact or it becomes more clear and impactful. And so the reason for that is as you're doing what you do and the how you go about what you do, um, all of that is working in or towards that purpose or that why. So I want you to read this article that is part of the assignment to get you started. It's very short. But then there's a great little video there from Simon Sinek talking about the importance of knowing your why. And then I've got a short video there that just sort of walks you through creating a personal why statement. So I want you to create this why statement to blank, so that blank. So your contribution and your impact. And so you'll see some guidance around that from that video. And then you're going to create your own video, similar to the one Simon has there where you're just going to tell us your why. Don't overthink it. Don't make it too hard. You'll see some examples from prior students, and you'll see how they did theirs. You can use your laptop, or you can use your cell phone, and then you could upload it to Canvas Studio. There's instructions there. Or you can upload it to YouTube, and then uh, share the link. I'm not going to have a detailed rubric this week, it's basically you get points for creating the, the statement, you'll get points for creating the video, and then getting it uploaded by the deadline. So don't overthink it, don't make this too hard. You can look at those examples, have fun with it. Most people have learned a lot about themselves and certainly about their classmates just going through that activity. And then the way we'll wrap up every module is with the review and reflect. So you'll see sort of a wrap up statement each week and helping you think about um, what you covered that week, 
But what I want you to do in the blog, and you're, this is why you're creating that blog, and this is for you and, and me. So this is for you to sort of have an opportunity to reflect. I'm not grading this for, you know, for grammar and spelling and flow and all that. It, it's an opportunity for you just to have that, that conscious stream of reflective thoughts as you finish the content each week. What was your biggest takeaway? What did you learn about yourself and others this week? So think about it this way. Maybe there's something you learned about the content that was assigned, but maybe there's something along the way that you learned that's not specifically related to the content, just something that occurred in the process. So all of that is gain. You know, share that information. Wow, it's interesting. We were covering this content this week, and as we were doing this, I bumped into someone, and then we started this. You know, how all that connects. And, and then as I was doing this, I really learned more about me and how I'm, you know, wired because this first part of the course, you're going to be thinking and learning more about uh, who you are and why you um, are wired the way you are. Uh, before you can lead others, you need to be able to lead yourself. So it's part of that self-discovery that leads to self-awareness, that then leads to self-development, and then being able to self-manage or self-regulate. And then we continue to self-learn that leads to more self-discovery. So a uh, big part of the first part of this course is learning more about you, then learning about other leaders and leadership in general, and then educational technology, and then putting all that together and how you can be an impactful and effective leader from any position. You don't have to be in a formal titled manager, supervisor, administrative type position. From any position in life, we can lead. Leading is inspiring. That's really all leading is. It's about inspiring others so you can lead from any position. So we're going to learn more about that as we go. But for this first post, create your blog, label the blog post Module 1 Reflection, and you'll have it submitted by the deadline. And you'll just basically be answering those two primary questions. But it's just your opportunity to reflect for that week. And as you go through the rest of the semester, you may be building upon prior weeks. So this week I learned this, which builds upon something I learned, you know, in a prior week or earlier in the semester. So that's about it for this week. Remember, please reach out with any questions or any concerns that you have. I look forward to learning more about you as we grow and learn together.